this stupid piece of wood has sunk after three or four or five or six or seven or I don't know how many bloody months it is now in the water staying down I can escape this tank I am so bloody excited so if you've not been here before we talk about aquariums tropical fish uh we do tank setups tank visits all that type of stuff um if you like it share make comments all that kind of stuff like i'm moving lots of words i'm so excited today is the day i finally get to set up the blackwater tank i'm over the moon i've had enough talking i've had enough planning i've had enough prepping I just want to do it, so I'm going to do it. Let's stop now and let's just do it. Yes. All right, so I've got a couple handfuls of leaves and stuff. They are going to be prepped for this. It's going to take a day or two for them to sink. Um, in the meantime, I'm obviously going to get my woodwork in, get my plants in, um, and substrate in, and begin sort of semi-cycling it. So. They're here now, they're ready to go, let's do this. Can you see that? Can you see that? Finally, this stupid piece of wood has sunk after three or four or five or six or seven or I don't know how many bloody months is now in the water, staying down. I can escape this tank. I am so bloody excited. And just for confirmation, inside an aquarium, the driftwood, it's not even driftwood, the spider wood is now sunk. I'm stoked so stoked all right so we're in position that is our peat mixture it's a regular substrate I've got a bucket of substrate that i'm going to pour in now i'll start sort of uh shaping it what i want then i'll put the wood in and we'll start planting it up all right so we've mixed up the peat mixture and the uh sort of gravelly sandy substrate so it's all right i just feel it's missing a little bit of texture so i might mix in a bit of CKM fluorite as well. I'm just in two minds about whether I want to do that or not. It's a slightly different colour, so it will stand out a bit more. And obviously, it's quite a bit different as far as substrate goes. Once it's in there, I can't take it out. So, yeah, it's a little bit unsure at the moment. We'll see. Alright, so the hardscape's in. tried to replicate the photos that I did on it a couple months back. Um, it's not quite the same. Um, if we can work out how to put some photos into the video up in the corners or something like that to give you an idea of what it looked like, we'll do that. Uh, if not, well, you just have to believe me or if you might have seen it on our Facebook page. Anyway, this is what it looks like. Um, the tank's a little bit dirty on the inside, so you're not getting a very good view of it at the moment. I'll put some water in it soon and start planting some plants. But we are hardscape done. I did go with the fluorite in the end. It was a mixture of fluorite and from CKM and JBL Monado. It's given some good texture. I thought after, well, pretty much as I was doing it. When I put the leaf litter in there, it's going to be a dark brown colour anyway, so it'll kind of mix in. I was a little bit concerned that it wouldn't. So this is the top. There it is there. So I've got a little bit of height coming up through here. The idea is obviously to take the two thirds through here and definitely give the height. And then a little bit of texture through there. It's a little bit high as far as following the rule of thirds. Probably wants to be a little bit lower, but it can't go any lower because that's as steep as it'll go. That will bring that a bit higher, but that's going to be sort of pushing up a little bit too high as well. So um, we'll see how we go when we put a bit of leaf litter around it and some plants in here. All right, so I've got 10 litres of RD eye water to throw in there. I've made this up the other day. It's uh, very stripped out water, no uh, basically impurities and crap in the water. So to make the water nice and soft. Uh, which is what I'm trying to achieve as well. So let's get this in. Go for a one hand ram and jammer here. Just 
stripping a bit on the floor, the wife's not home, so she doesn't need to know. It's all good. It's quite hard to pour 10 litres of water into a uh, aquarium with one hand. Don't ever let anyone say that it's not, because it is. Perfect. And in here I've got a tannin extract to go in to the tank as well. So this is uh, Roy Voice tea bags. My partner drinks quite a lot of them. It's caffeine free, but it does release a lot of tannins. Um, I've been using it in my big aquarium for a little while now. No adverse effects, so I'm pretty comfortable to put it in here. So that'll give the water good color up as well. Could already sort of see it changing color through that dirt. So I change that out every couple of days, just to sort of show you how much tea she drinks. All right, plant selection for this aquarium. Cryptophanus, Morophanus, Blintze, Celata, and originally I thought that this was, um, Pucker, Winter Tea, there we go. You gotta get there eventually. But I think it might be Lutea. Either way, that is my plant selection to go in. Let's plant it out. Okay, so the blends are first, so I'm going to have it into that back corner there. I'd like to see it sort of spread to around about there, somewhere about there. So I'll get that in first. I'm doing it one handed, so we'll see how we go. Swap hand. Got the old trusty. plant tongy things if you don't have a set of these and you're into aquarium or aquatic plants these things seriously recommend getting some same with aquarium scissors as well so let's balance it in let's move on to the next one uh, next one is the tea or a possible wind tea so I want to clump of that heading around about there it's kind of hard to see that's about where I want it and this process stays on Let's move on to the next one. See ladder next. Tuck it into about there. Cool. Wouldn't mind it if that sort of comes around and through into that kind of area, covering up and through there. That one covering in through around about there. Then so covering in through there, which leaves up and through here. We're going to plan. The Athens. Alright, we'll grab it now. Alright, so I've got plenty of it, it's always grown relatively well for me. Believe it or not, I've already had complaints from my kids. Oh, why have you got a fish tank in the dining room? Oh, it's where we eat, that's disgusting, blah blah blah. Uh, silly kids. Bit of a low point there. It's not going to quite dig in. Uh, I'm going to change hands. Hold on. Going right handed. Mm, let's do the one over 
there as well. So I'm hoping that the peat in the water will really help the crips. We'll find out so it's implanted. And let's move on to the next stage. Right, as far as ferts go, I'm not going to do heavy. I'm just going to use standard flourish and flourish excel for the time being. Um, it's not really a planted tank, but they do need some fertilizers. I'm hoping that um, the peat and, and all the muck and the substrate will help the crypts. Um, I am, however, going to use this flourish advance. Uh, the couple times I've used it when moving crypts, I have found that the crypts don't melt, so I'm hoping to avoid that again. So I'll be using the flourish advance for a month or so as well. So that is what I'm doing as far as plant fits go. Uh, next step now, so I'll leave it like this. Let the the uh, sediment settle a little bit. Um, just make sure I'm happy with where everything is. Then I'll start putting some leaves and stuff in there. I'll fill it up and I'll get some filtration and water movement going and then when I'm happy we'll put some fish in here. Excellent. I think that'll be it for now. So have a good one. Happy fish keeping and catch you later.